Greetings. In this video, we'll be talking about China's mega hovercraft, the Type 728 Air Cushioned Landing Craft, or LCAC for short. These are large landing crafts designed for transporting and unloading a small force of around 50 or 60 men, and a small number of armored vehicles over a short distance. The Type 728 are Chinese versions of the Soviet's origin Projet 1232.2 landing craft, with the NATO reporting name the Promenik. However, they are much better known unofficially by the name the Zubr class. Zubr is the Russian word for the European bison, which are strong swimmers across small bodies of water, such as rivers and lakes. As of 2023, the Zuber class in the Type 728 at 555 tons full load are the world's largest hovercraft. Development of the Zuber landing craft started in the former Soviet Union in 1978, with design work continuing in the first half of the 1980s. The Soviet armed forces and now the Russian and Ukrainian forces have a need for short-range amphibious capabilities, especially in western Russia along the Black Sea and the Baltic. There's a large number of important islands off the coast in these theaters, the control of which is important for securing the nearby sea lanes. There's also important ports and naval bases to be defended not least of which is Sevastopol and Feodosia in Crimea, Odessa and Novorossiysk. And large hovercraft provide the strategic mobility to shuffle troops around at short notice. The first group of hovercraft entered service in 1986. After the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, the vessels under construction were promptly scrapped and most of the active units from the Black Sea Fleet were transferred to Ukraine, although Russia kept two vessels for its own use in the Baltic Fleet. As we will see, the new state of Ukraine maintained the ability to build this hovercraft. Ukraine will later sell one of the Zubras to Greece and build three more boats for Greece. It is also Ukraine, not Russia, that would later build the Zubra for China's PLA Navy. In mid-2003, China expressed interest in purchasing the Zubra class from Ukraine. However, there were delays in the negotiations to fine-tune the details and also to avoid antagonizing Russia through misunderstandings. In July 2009, China and Ukraine reached an agreement under which Ukraine will sell four units to China and to transfer the know-how for building the Zubra class to China so that China can build more in the future if they want to. Two vessels will be built by Ukraine and the other two will be assembled in China from components provided by Ukraine. The final price tag was a lowly $315 million. The first unit was built at the Feodosia Shipbuilding Company in Crimea and adapted to Chinese needs so that no military weapons or electrical systems were installed. The first unit was delivered to the Chinese Navy in May 2013 and was assigned the whole number 3325. Ukraine turned over the second unit to China in February 2014 and was designated 3326 after the first unit had already entered service. The situation around Crimea involving escalation between Ukraine and Russia in 2014 and later the Russian annexation of Crimea led to complications in the project. Nevertheless, Ukraine successfully fulfilled its obligations to China under the terms of the contract, providing the components for building two more ships in China, despite the difficulties from the loss of Crimea. China then built two more vessels out of these components, designating these the 3327 and the 3328. With a length 
of 57 meters and a beam of 25.6 meters. The Zubra has the largest dimension for an LCAC. It has a cargo area of 400 square meters. It has a normal displacement of 400 tons and a full load displacement of 555 tons, giving a payload for the cargo of 150 tons. It can carry three main battle tanks each at 50 tons, or five light tanks, or around six infantry fighting vehicles, either the PLA's ZBD-04 or the more advanced ZBL-08, plus a complement of around 60 infantry. Alternatively, the vessel can just carry personnel only, in which case it could be loaded in theory with 500 infantrymen, 360 in the cargo hold and 140 on the deck. The stern door and ramp have a width of around half of the cargo area, while the bow ramp is slightly larger. The cargo hold spans the full length of the craft, allowing for full roll-on, roll-off capability. Powered by two supercharging gas turbines and propelled by three four-bladed propellers, the Zubra class can sustain a speed of an incredible 55 knots. What makes the Zubra important is the combination of a large cargo capacity and a sustained high speed. Models built by Ukraine for the PLA Navy reportedly travel at a top speed of 63 knots. Maximum range is 480 kilometers, although in practice the operational range will be lower. In May 2023, social media images confirmed the construction of purely domestically produced Zuber hovercraft in China. The new production consisted of two units, with the second unit identified in July, bringing the total number for the Type 728 in the PLA Navy to six vessels. The new vessels were given the designation the 3260 and the 3261. Unlike the previous vessels, which were either built overseas or built in China but with foreign kit, China built the new LCACs completely on its own and demonstrated a mastery of the technical requirements for building this class. The new vessels feature minor differences to the four vessels built previously. The old electro-optical fire control system for the close-in weapon systems is replaced by a fire control radar in the same place. The two six-barrel close-in weapon systems, or CWIS, are moved forward. The CWIS were moved to where the retractable multiple launch rocket systems were previously located, and the mast carrying navigation radars and communication equipment is redesigned. As with all air-cushioned landing craft, one limitation of the Zuba is the sea condition, or the sea state, the vessel can operate under. In fact, the Zuba is designed for the fairly calm conditions of the Black Sea. It is only seaworthy in conditions up to Sea State 4, which equivalates to moderate sea. Any rougher and the craft would not be considered seaworthy. The height of the waves should not exceed 2 meters on average, and wind speed should be at or less than 12 kilometers per hour. So there's material restrictions on what constitutes ideal conditions for the operation of the Zuber class. For these reasons, I don't believe they are intended for use against Taiwan. The weather in the Taiwan Strait can be very rough at times, and if unlucky, this could impair the effectiveness of the Zuber LCAC in a Taiwan situation. The PLA Navy has deployed all six units of the Type 728 in the South Sea Fleet, operating in the South China Sea, rather than the East Sea Fleet, facing Taiwan. And this is consistent with my view that they are not intended for a Taiwan scenario. The planned total figure of the Type 728 remains unknown, 
and the scale of future production is still to be confirmed. Nevertheless, the recent construction of new vessels suggests the PLAN intends to use them on a larger scale than previously thought. The appearance of new Zubra hovercraft is an interesting part of China's effort to expand its amphibious warfare capability. Alongside the continued expansion of its amphibious warfare fleet, the Type 728 Zuber class can deliver follow-on forces to reinforce a beachhead with heavy equipment and logistical support. Thus, they can play a crucial role in an opposed landing.